Hi, welcome to this ChassisML tutorial video where I'm going to walk through the process of taking a container image built using the chassis service and deploy it to Modsy, which is a model ops platform focused on the rapid deployment and production inference for machine learning models. For context, as a reminder, if you haven't looked through our other tutorials, ChassisML will automatically build container images and those container images can be run locally on your computer in a program like Postman or in your preferred model serving platform of choice. And in this case, we'll showcase Modsy. I also want to note that if you happen to have watched our build a model tutorial, the model that we are going to deploy to Modsy is the exact same model. And so instead of spending a lot of this tutorial walking through building the model, we'll simply use the code that we wrote during that tutorial and focus more on the Modsy specific information. And so with that, I'll jump over to the notebook that's referenced in the build and model tutorial and walk through this quickly so that we can focus on the Modsy specific information we need to deploy this all the way through to the Modsy platform. So if you recall, we start by installing the dependencies we need. We then import the packages, build our scikit-learn support vector machine model. Uh, it's a classification model in our case. We train that model. We write a simple process method that takes some raw bytes in as input data, performs some pre-processing on that data, performs inference, and structures the results into a clean format that we want to return to the end user. Then we initialize our chassis client. We create our chassis model, passing through that process function as the sole parameter, perform a few tests to ensure that our code and our environment works on the chassis service side. And once our model passes all these tests, it's time to actually publish that model. Now, the last thing that is consistent with the build a model tutorial is defining some Docker Hub account credentials so that when we kick off the chassis job, chassis has a Docker registry to push the built container image to. And so in this case, I define my username and I use this utility package, git pass, to add my password. And here's where things get a little bit different. Ultimately, the way that we will deploy this all the way through to Modsy is using that same publish method we used before. However, the difference is we can now add some optional Modsy specific parameters to this function call. And to do so, I need a set of valid Modsy credentials. In this case, I'm pointing to one of our internal development environments with my own API key. And then we need a sample file path that points to a piece of sample data that the model can perform inference on. We do this so that Modsy can run a test on this container to ensure that it runs properly. So very similar to the call that we executed before, we will publish this model using the publish method, give our model a name, a version, pass through my Docker Hub credentials, and then pass through those Modsy specific pieces of information. And just as before, with a normal chassis job execution, we get this message printed out saying that the build job started, which is great. Now, once this completes, we can print out some information from the final status variable that we've saved with our new model URL. So this points to the Modsy platform where every model within the platform has a unique identifier and version. And what's great about this is it's now accessible with a simple and standard API call, just like the rest of the models. So with this newly deployed model, we can interact with it using Modsy's Python SDK. And to do so, we first want to install the Modsy SDK, just like we installed the other packages required to build the chassis model. And once this is good, we can initialize the Modsy API client, similar to how we initialized the chassis API client earlier with our Modsy URL and Modsy API key as credentials. Now, when a model is deployed to Modsy, there are several pieces of metadata stored specific to that model. And the three key pieces of information we will need to extract in order to submit an inference job to this model are the input file name, the model identifier, and model version, all of which are contained in this final status dictionary. Okay, now with these three variables defined, we can submit an inference job to the Modsy platform to the model that we've just deployed. We'll first use this submit file method within the jobs API service, passing through our model ID, our model version, our input file name, and the sample file path. 
This is just the required format for passing through actual data. And once the job is submitted, we will use a block until complete utility function that queries the results. And lastly, we will extract out just the component of the results object that contains our model predictions, which is what we're interested in, and print that out to our editor. And as we see, we get an inference result returned directly to our notebook, which if you recall, is the exact same prediction structure that we defined in that process function up here. So this is pretty cool. In a matter of just minutes, we took some Python code, containerized that model using Docker without having to know anything about Docker and deployed it all the way through to a model ops platform where we can run production inference with just a few lines of code using the Modsy APIs. And that concludes this video. Make sure to check out some of the other tutorials we've written and recorded videos for that demonstrate other ways to interact with chassis built container images. Those being locally with Postman or using an open source serving platform called KServe. Thanks for tuning in.